What's going on guys? This is Steve for Android at Night and today I'm going to be showing you some of my favourite mods that you can do on your Android smartphone that don't need root. So sit back, relax and I hope you enjoy. If you've seen any coverage of LG's new G6 you will have noticed that it's got these really nice curved corners on the edge of its display. LG isn't the first company to go about having rounded corners on its screen. The Palm Pre had this back in the early 2000s. So if you like the look of having curved corners on the edge of your screen, you can try out an app called Cornerfly. There's loads of different settings, so you can change the colour, so if you've got a white phone or you've got a red front on your phone, you can make that match. And you can also go ahead and tweak which corners actually get rounded. If you are looking for that rounded aesthetic and you don't want to shell out on a G6, then Cornerfly is definitely one to try out. Next up, we have Navbar Apps, which, you guessed it, will let you customise your navigation bar. You can set it so your navigation bar will automatically change colour depending on which application you're currently in. So if for example you're in YouTube, your navigation bar will be red. If you're in Spotify, it will turn green. This gives your phone a really nice unified feel and it matches really well with the dynamic status bar. But navbar apps can do more than just change the colour. If you want, you can put an image behind your navigation bar to completely tweak how your phone looks. Another cool setting is the option to have a visualizer so whenever you're playing music you'll get these little bars popping up in your navigation bar. It's really well executed and looks really slick, so if you want to take control over how your phone looks, definitely try out navbar apps. Next up is all-in-one gestures, and if you're looking for an application to take more control over your phone then this is definitely one for you. This allows you to control your device using your hardware keys, gestures on the screen and by tapping your status bar. So for example, I've got it set that if I long press on my volume up key, it will initiate a Google voice search. It's completely customizable, so you can set different key combinations to launch different applications or different processes. The next thing you can control with this is gestures. So I've got it set so that if I swipe from the left side of my screen, it will automatically launch my most recent applications. Then I've got it set so if I swipe from the right hand side, it will act like a back button. Again, these are really customizable and you can choose which gestures trigger which actions. And the final thing that you can mod with this app is your status bar, so I've got it set that if I double tap on it, it will launch my power menu. This is really useful if your hardware buttons don't work, or if you've got a really big phone and reaching around to the top is a little bit of a faff. Next up on this list is Snap Swipe Drawer, and this is by far my favourite mod of all time for Android. This allows you to access widgets from any app on your device by just pulling down from the right hand side of your status bar. This adds a huge amount of utility to your phone and it means I've actually started using widgets again. I normally have a really minimal home screen so I put all my widgets into this and it means just all my utility is saved in that one place. The thing that I haven't shown in previous videos is just how customizable this has become so you can completely tweak how this looks. You can change the background colour and the transparency, you can decide whether this displays its own little clock or you can just see your status bar which I prefer which looks a little bit more minimal. But if you are looking for a really easy way to get to widgets anywhere on your phone then Snap Swipe Drawer is definitely one to try out. If you're lucky enough to have a phone with 7.0 or above, you've probably played with Quick Tiles. These live in your notification bar just above all your notifications and they give you kind of like mini widget access to some features on your phone. They are getting more customizable, but Tile is the app you want if you want to really customize and mod your experience. This will allow you to add any application to your quick settings, so for example I've got Android Pay, I can just pull down my notification bar and I'm straight into Android Pay. You can also add shortcuts to a bunch of other things like settings, and you can also add applications in specific groups. I don't use my quick settings a huge amount of time, I tend to use Snap Swipe Draw more and just use full on widgets, but if you're someone who likes a minimal setup and uses a lot of the quick settings, then Tiles is definitely an app you should try out. So there you are guys, those are some of my favourite Android mods that don't need root. Let me know in the comments below which are your favourites and also let me know any that I haven't mentioned I will make sure to mention in the next version of this video. As I mentioned in my previous video, I've just moved to Manchester, I've got a new job here and stuff, but as I promised I'm going to be trying to get at least a video out every week for you guys. Um, bug me on Twitter if I'm not and do let me know what you want to see. But thank you very much for watching. The links to everything I've talked about is in the description, as are all my social media links. And I will see you beautiful people in the next video. Peace.